morning everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog oh my god am i actually looking like this i look awful yeah. you can see i'm in the woods i've got a hot drink i'm actually walking up to the cemetery because the flowers are frozen over so i need to go put some artificial in just because we don't want it looking messy so that's what i'm doing now i'm just walking up there not gonna lie, I woke up with a bit of a heavy chest this morning, like, I don't know if it's a bit of anxiety, I don't know, um, I just I don't feel myself, so I thought what I'll do is I'll do what I love to do, go for a walk, put my headphones in, listen to a podcast and just see if that helps. I've got my little Costa, co Costa? It's red, I mean Starbucks, it actually turns red when it's hot, how cool is that? I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> This is my normal hill route run, so I should be used to it and I'm only walking up it. But yeah, I'm just going to walk up there now. I get my results back today and my report. I'm so nervous, so maybe that's why I'm overthinking. Like, I'm just overthinking everything. Like, it's not like me. I don't know what's up with me. Anyway, I've got an oat milk latte in here. I can we just so appreciate how beautiful this is. Oh my god. Like I'm obsessed. Oh it's just stunning. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk up there now. Turning the camera off because I'm out of breath. So as we were speaking, my grave just got released. Oh god, I'm literally like a nervous wreck. But at the cemetery we've got um we got a bench done for my nan. Bless her. Just because there weren't enough space to put things um, on like the stone bit. So we got a bench done anyway because she just deserves nothing less. So I think, oh my God, it's really muddy up here. It's a good job I've got a doctor eyes on. So I think I'm gonna sit on there and open open my grades while I find, find out what my grades are with her. So yeah, oh, I hope she's looking down on me right now. I got so nervous. weren't quite the mark that I wanted, um, I got 68, but I'm still happy with it, it's okay, I'm still happy with that, it's still a high two one, two marks off of first, but uh, we'll get there. So it is a bit later now, what time is it actually? Yeah, 20 to 12, my lectures online start 12 till 3 I believe, so I've got like 3 hours, um, of uni to do to watch to listen to listen um i've got myself my little costa cup there again um filled that up with some ginger and lemon tea with a bit of honey because that's just my favorite drink at the minute i'm loving it but yeah i just wanted to quickly come on and i just wanted to clear something up basically so half of my vlog will be in my hometown obviously in Rugeley um just because i'm coming back here now quite frequently and then back in manchester the only reason is for that like i understand we're in a lockdown now but i have work still in manchester and i have a uni face to face so i have to actually go in on a thursday for three hours for like face to face sessions so there's no way i can really get around just staying here and I can't just stay in Manchester because I, I need to be at home. I just I just don't want people to think like, oh my God, you're breaking lockdown rules and stuff. Um, I mean, I am essentially traveling for work and uni and then coming back home. So I just wanted to clear that up. For my own mental state, I need to be at home. And for the upcoming events that we've got going on, I just need to be at home. Um, and I feel like everyone else would be doing the exact same as well grieving you need to be around your family at the end of the day so yeah that's just what i wanted to clear up also um, i want to keep it real real on this vlog I, I honestly i don't know what's wrong with me today i just i said it this morning on my walk but honestly such a heavy feeling on my chest it was horrible and then 
I just couldn't think clearly. I couldn't think straight. I just felt rubbish. I was just second guessing everything in life. I was overthinking everything. Like, I just, what, it's not like me. I don't know. I don't know whether it was the build up to getting my results from my coursework. And not going to lie, like, I am a bit gutted about that. I got a 68% and I just, I really wanted that 72%. It was like, I just, so oh, it's just so crap, honestly. <laughs> I know this is sat for hours and hours on it as well. So it's just absolutely heart-wrenching when you don't get the results that you want. But there is always a but. There is always a positive out of a negative. And I just need to realise that, you know, I didn't get the grade that I wanted. But it just shows that I was so close to getting the grade that I wanted. And, you know, I just need to take the um, feedback that I got from my tutors and just apply it onto my next lot of assignments and fingers crossed <laughs> we get it i mean a miracle could happen i could get 80 percent in my exam and then i would get a first in my unit so yeah manifesting that on now i'm gonna get all my crystals out that is another thing as well um obviously i've already said this when i am feeling down and stuff i do just try and you know um reflect on everything that i've got in life and write everything down that i want and so on and just really really focus on that but bless my mom's friend um she's always like into this kind of stuff and she got me some crystals um and each crystal obviously represents something and yeah i'm gonna try and start manifesting with these and yeah i need to really look into it a lot more um i'm still trying to remember what each crystal uh, symbolizes and stuff like that but yeah oh god this is four minutes oh honestly i don't shut up um anyway yeah i'll just want to come on and clear that up i've not really got anything much planned for the rest of the day um apart from just sorting some stuff out at my nan's flat and um yeah that's it i might go for a run a bit later on because i didn't go this morning i just didn't really fancy it so i decided to take myself for a walk and put a motivating podcast on and yeah it did make me feel a little better to be honest but now i'm gonna focus on this and yeah fingers crossed i'm feeling a lot better later um, and what a fabulous invention what that did. morning everyone um so it's tuesday today and i've just got back from a run as you can tell literally look like uh, all sweaty do need to jump in the shower but i needed to get my run in this morning because i've got a lecture at nine so it's about 10 past eight now sorry if i've got a bit of a lisp i've actually got my retainers in and they're really hard to talk with um yeah so yesterday i ain't gonna lie i didn't really vlog that much i actually did not have a good day at all and when i say I didn't have a good day like my head was absolutely everywhere i crashed into two cars who does that in one day me um so yeah cam if you're watching this i am so sorry <laughs> Oh, honestly, I can't even deal with myself. Two cars. I just... No. So, yeah, that happened. Um, and, yeah. I just started... It was just a bad day. We've had the bad day now. Not going to let it ruin the rest of the week. Um, we're just going to try and be a lot more productive today. And get things done. Um, so, I just forced myself for a run this morning. Because I just knew it was going to motivate me for the rest of the day. So, yeah, I'm going to head in the shower now. And then, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys a bit later out of the shower now but i just want to say if you love like your herbal teas and stuff i can't explain how amazing this one tastes oh, i just literally add a lemon and ginger tea bag tablespoon wow well, a teaspoon of honey or you can have a tablespoon depends how sweet you want it and then yeah i like to put it in my little starbucks cup <laughs> just a little tip as well it's always easier to put the honey in after you fill the cup up with hot water but how amazing is this i've just got to show you guys How sick is that? That is so much better. <coughs> really, I should have blow dried my hair because my bangs are just gonna go. But I don't have time. Anyway, got my cute, cozy little setup. About to start my uni lecture online. Got a little candle, and of course, I've got my lemon, ginger, and honey tea. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna be sitting for the next hour and a half. 
so it's not really going to be interesting for you so i'll probably see you when my day gets a little bit better or more interesting oh i'm not gonna lie to you i haven't filmed since this morning um it's about half half three um i thought today was just gonna be good and honestly my eyes are probably red from me crying <laughs> So I thought I would get myself a coffee from McDonald's, get myself some fries and yeah, just <laughs> vent really. Honestly, I don't know what's up with me. That's nice though. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm overthinking absolutely everything. And the only good thing is um, I did get some uni work done that needed to be uploaded today so at least i've got that done i've not lost my motivation for that but it was so hard to find the motivation to do it i've just wanted to like crawl up into a ball and cry i don't know what is wrong with me i just feel so alone i feel so lonely but i know i'm not i know i've got like amazing friends and stuff but i just feel <sighs> i don't know I've just been crying at everything. I'm overthinking absolutely everything. I feel like everyone's... I feel like everyone's leaving me. Like, I feel like I've lost so many people. I feel like... Who's next? Is what I'm feeling like. I just don't know if I can... I can't even handle another, like, death in the family and just... I used to be like this. Before... I used to have really bad anxiety and like panic attacks about family members dying and I know it's a bit like a bit of a touchy deep subject but like I did honestly I couldn't I used to cry myself to sleep thinking about it and now I feel like I'm going back into that again because it's happening and it's not just like I just don't know how much bad luck my family can have is what i'm saying so yeah now i just and now i feel like i'm fearing for like other things leaving me like i'm scared that joe will one day leave me i'm scared that like friends are gonna like i, I, I don't know why i'm in this mindset it's awful because i got it took me so long to get out of it and now i'm back i feel like i'm slowly getting back into it and it's just not a good it's not a good mindset like i woke up today with such a heavy chest and i thought you know what get yourself out for a run take your mind off it and yeah it did work but as soon as i got back into the house and really sat and thought about it again it all just started up again and i just don't know what i just don't know what to do sorry i thought that was joe but it's not um I don't know, is anyone else like this or is it just me? I'm just a complete weirdo. But what McDonald's chips can't sort out? Maybe it's just lockdown. Maybe it's that. I, I just don't, I really don't know. But I just know that I can't be feeling like this. It distracts me so much. I've got so much like stuff to do with uni. I just don't have time to be feeling like this. But then you just can't help your emotions, can you? Also, another thing, I've lost my purse. I've lost my purse for ages now. Not for the life of me do I know where it is. And that's stressing me out because it's got my uni cards in. So I can't get into uni without it. So it's a bit of a nightmare. And I need to go to the library this week and get like my literature review done. I need my uni card and I don't know where it is. And that's another thing, like, just there's so much going on in my life now i just can't think and then now i'm just feel like i'm doing things to i don't know oh my god i just don't know is this what third year is i don't know i feel like i've just had a build up of emotions and like obviously having a chat with your mum always helps and she just said that because i'm seeing she thinks that my emotions are just getting the better of me basically I need to stop overthinking. I can need to stop overthinking that if someone doesn't reply to me in an hour, 
it's because they don't like me or believe in me or I just don't know. You know what? Let's just hope tomorrow is a better day. We need to claim it now. We need to claim that tomorrow's a better day. I've got to go back to Manchester tomorrow. So I literally need to be in a better mind frame because I don't have my mum at the side of me. I know she's on the other end of the phone, but it's not the same. Like when you're sad, like you just want to be with your family, don't you? Not on your own as such. Oh God. Anyway, I'm going to end today here. Unless something amazing happens. Um, and yeah, hopefully tomorrow's a new day. Sorry for the little deep chat. Say goodbye to this horrific day. She's now spilt coffee on her white jeans. Honestly, oh, don't want to talk about it. I'm not, this is the first time I wore them. As if. Mm. Oh my God. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. I'm, I'm gonna do this intro again, but this is why you have to blow dry your bangs. I was thinking like this. Oh my god, I can't deal with myself. <laughs> I look like um, I look like the thing off Alice in Wonderland, or like I've got a hot. Oh no. <laughs> right, this is what we're working with today. I've, oh god, I've just had to stick it behind a bit and just um oh, I don't even know what I'm saying to you wow isn't that better so much better anyway hi everyone so it's actually Wednesday today um not really got much to do I'm literally just sat here now I've got myself coffee some water um, and I'm going to smash a little bit more of uni work this morning didn't go for a run this morning just because all my gym stuff is currently getting washed so i'll probably go for an evening run i think i always say this and i never do it so we'll just see if that happens or not but yeah um i need to head back to manchester today because i have uni at nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow so yeah i will be heading back into manchester tomorrow and yeah and i'm now back on furlough again which is, um, I mean, probably a blessing in disguise, but yeah, it's just a bit scary, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try and do some work. I've actually got a bit of an issue with a video that I wanted to upload tonight. The, if I just show you, these clips here, the time lapses from, which have been exported from my iPhone, just appear black. It's just stressing me out, so I don't know what to do because I've got a lot of time lapses on this one. All that. Oh, is that what? No, that's fine because it was filmed on my camera, but these were filmed on my phone, so there must have been something wrong with the image, like the video when I exported it. It's probably changed format, so I just need to try and figure it out. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Um, and then I do need to still work on my proposal. I just need to change some of my objectives for my literature review honestly this is just probably gibberish to a lot of people but yeah that is my life now dissertation anyway yeah i'm gonna sit and crack on with this and i'll see you all guys a bit later why did i lose my voice then so basically i figured out the problem to the black screen so what i did in the end is i just screen recorded on my mac on like my photo library so where i originally filmed the time lapse and it worked fine then i just like saved it into my desktop and imported it into imovie that way so if anyone ever has that problem there we go <laughs> i thought i'd just share it because i was looking all over youtube for someone to tell me what to do and i couldn't find anything it was all just talking about images but mine was a video so there we go so smart over here i'm getting so good at editing now like i feel like i'm just a I'm not actually, I know nothing about computers, but yeah. Anyway, so if you have a struggle, there we go. Mime a mask, China, obviously. Ha. Anyway, just come out of, we've had to go downtown because 
we've had to go to the bank and do some other little bits go to morrison's and stuff like that but oh my god i've just been to wilco's and picked these mugs off for like they were 10 pounds but how beautiful are them they're literally going to go so nice in my kitchen in manchester and they're like the perfect um size mug i've got one similar like this in black um gray and pink but i don't like the mug size of them so yeah i was buzzing about that i just think oh no oh, i just love them i just had to they are yeah all i can think about is having a coffee out of them That's, there we go and then i also actually picked up another book for uni because i'm a bit of a freak to be honest like, i have to have a book for different units and i'm like at the minute i'm mixing my units a little bit and it's, it's kind of freaking me out i've got this book which i think is really cute and it's got like all the different sections so i can just like section all my work out this is probably going to be like my research project book because you know i've got different elements in my proposal to do like your literature your methodology all of that good stuff that we don't want to talk about just yet and that was only four pounds so yeah they're my little bargains guys <laughs> today's a better day already oh i'm actually missing out a really really like good <laughs> also they had all the halloween stuff oh, i can't get this back in the bag now also they had all the halloween stuff for 50p <laughs> so i picked up this halloween dress but i thought for 50p it'll probably do me for next year like i just think why not have it in your wardrobe i'm going to be thanking myself next year when i got a halloween party and i'm like oh my god i ain't got to buy anything because i got my 50p dress from wilco's we also picked up these little cheerleading outfits as well for ella and isla which i really wish they had these in my size because i prefer this but little halloween no yeah cheerleading outfit and you get little pom-poms 50p i mean it's just some things you don't really need to buy but oh well love that <laughs> home sweet home oh that's so cute two advent calendars oh my god oh. do you know what oh there she is pretty as ever so as you can tell i am back in manchester now only going to be here for like a day just so i'll go to uni and then i'll head back home again but it's easier to show you my outfit of the day so I haven't really done that in this vlog, to be honest, because I don't have a full body mirror at home. And I, yeah, but anyway, this is the outfit today. So she's gone for like all white, my Dr. Martins, and then a leather oversized shirt. Kind of vibe. Oh, and I've got a gold chain on as well. Loving life. Anyway, I'm gonna. Well, I've got about six parcels to pick up from downstairs, so. I'm literally going to go downstairs, get them parcels and take the bins out because they absolutely stink. Like, no. So yeah, we're going to do that now. <laughs> so, I don't even know what day we're on. We're on Thursday. And this is the outfit of the day. Little, do you know what? I actually blow dried my bangs this morning with a roller. And because I don't have one of those brush, well I did, but I've lost it. Anyway, I feel like they've gone okay. Anyway, yeah, that was the outfit of the day because um, I so today literally oh my god, that's sunny so bright. Today literally consists of uni. I've got uni till twelve, and I've bought the library till one till five. So life's really not that fun today, guys. Not gonna lie, it hasn't really been that fun all week. Um, but I am feeling a little bit better today positive vibes only but yeah i actually need to leave the uni right now so let's go oh, i've been awful at vlogging today but literally second starbucks of the day which is awful i always know where my money goes and today i literally picked books up for the first time in four years at uni so maybe i'll get a good grade i don't know but i'm just gonna walk home after this and that's it you probably can't hear me because there is loud music on but oh my god Perfect timing. 
toffee nut latte. I've never had it before, so I'm going to have a taste test. 10 out of 10. Right, I am back from university and now what a productive day we had. Not literally, I've done nothing. I've literally filled out. I must have wrote about 100 words. I love that. And when I was walking out of the library with all my books, because it's the first time I've ever done this, the alarms went off. I had the book police on me because I was stealing books. Because apparently you have to check them out. And I don't know that because I've never got books before. I was so confused. He was like, you're going off. And I'm like, eh? Jess was like, you need to log them out. Obviously, I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. To be fair, I did wonder. Anyway, yeah, I've got like five books. I had to just carry them home. <laughs> Didn't really think it through. But anyway, hopefully I can get my literature review with the books that I've got. I've just filmed a AliExpress haul. I don't know whether that'll be up before this. I'm not too sure. So I won't show you anything just in case. And yeah, I'm literally going to get sorted now because I am heading back home tomorrow because I obviously just come back to Manchester for uni and yeah, I'm going to head back home. So I do need to pack and get sorted. So not going to lie, I'll probably see you all tomorrow for a very early day. Oh, so early, I'm going to drive home so early. Don't know why I do it to myself. So good morning everyone. It is literally so early in the morning right now. I don't even think it's half seven yet. Um, but I need to set off back home. Um, just because I've got a few things to do. So I'd rather just get off and go. So basically, excuse the egghead. I was actually going to do my bangs this morning. But no, they didn't want to style right. So I've just put it and slipped back. Um, yeah, that's literally it. I'm just going to set off home now. Then probably catch up with you guys. But outfit of the day kind of a vibe with a little shoulder bag a little pony kind of loving this outfit to be honest oh do you know what guys i honestly don't know hmm. i hate this movie yeah is that better i honestly don't know why i try and film in the morning because I always lose my voice and I just sound like an absolute idiot, do you know what I mean? Um, but I'm literally just waiting for my car to warm up a bit. And yeah, I might just uh, explain what I'm doing again. So I'm actually going home today. Um, just because obviously I've already said that I travelled here for uni. I'm going to go head back home because I've got a lot of things going on this week. And yeah, but it is so cold outside. I can't actually it is so cold outside sorry i really didn't like the angle over there it is so cold outside i can't describe to you like it is so it's so, such a winter morning and i'm feeling it i'm loving it so i think i'm actually going to go to the garden center today yeah i want some new christmas stuff i want to get myself in the mood i want to yeah i want to do christmas i just want something so yeah i think i'm going to do that today so that's probably what today is going to consist of the garden center and i'm sorry but i just love going to the garden center like nine times out of ten i literally can't like, afford some of the christmas stuff <laughs> i always get them from like b m or home bargains or something like that but yeah that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to drive back now i did want to go get a starbucks but i don't have any cup holders in my car so if anyone has a DS3, like, you feel the pain. Like, why did they not put cup holders in? I don't understand. Like, the amount of times I've spilled hot drinks down me, oh, it's just it's not good. They just need to invest in putting cup holders into their cars. It's just stupid. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to drive home now for about an hour and 40 minutes. So I'll see you all guys later. Oh, my God. I want that as a Christmas tree. Being able to afford all that. <laughs> oh, I like these little boxes as well. These might go nice at the side of the TV. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think I might have to get this. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, amazing. Oh no, look at the fact. Oh my God, look at the little. Oh my god. 
a little fair as well. E and J, little angels for the Christmas tree. Look at pumpkin spice. Oh, stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I could get two. Really? See, I love, I love chai. Yeah, absolutely. Chai is like really nice, really, really, really I think nice. I... We've got loads of that left because I, I doubled up the last time because we sold loads of the chai. Mm -hmm. oh, this sun. Come on, right. we're getting the decent. <laughs> <laughs> we just, um, we don't know what one to have. No, I'll... Coffees and cakes, hog roast. I'll get social bubble. Oh, shut up, everybody. Right, I don't know. Are we having donuts, hog roast, or coffee and cake? <laughs> Can I get a vanilla latte then, please? Can I have a caramel one? Oh, it's absolutely freezing. But I went to the garden centre and didn't actually get anything that I wanted for Christmas, so that's not very good. Why are you following me around like a dog? Like you just want to feed me. <laughs> I'm trying to vlog and you're just there. I didn't get anything for Christmas, but I got some chai latte and syrup, so. We got essential stuff. Nice. Oh. Mm. Is this the, I mean lids? Yeah. That is all really. Are they ours? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh. they ain't having one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's good. Yep. <gasps> oh, what else have you got? I've got the girls. A pig each. Oh, love that. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning today. Bit doom and gloom outside, but it's not going to affect my mood because I've woken up feeling so much better. I feel like I just really needed that deep sleep. Like I didn't get up till about eight. It's about nine now. Um, just had, yeah, really nice sleep. But I too feel a lot better. Not going to lie, I literally got up, scraped my hair back, and I literally just gave myself a pep talk. You know, like honestly. I just need to remember who I am because the last few days I just haven't felt myself so I need to do the things that makes me me and I know doing a form of exercise in the morning will definitely help me so that's what I need to do I need to help myself out a little bit so that's what we're going to do this morning we're going to head out for a run and then I don't really know what I've got planned for the day to be honest there's not much to do is that with lockdown like and if the weather's not really looking very delightful then what do I do? I mean, yeah, I have got tons of uni work to do. Yeah, that's one. I do have a lot of editing to do as well for some videos to go up, so that's two. So I definitely have got things to do today, but yeah, it's Saturday, I wanna like. <laughs> I just wanna get drunk, to be honest, but I have no one to get drunk with. Like, my life man anyway yeah happy saturday um let's get out for this run and let's just smash the day off i am claiming today is going to be an amazing day right so literally just got ready in about 10 minutes and i'm just gonna basically pop out actually gonna go to bradshaw's farm and just pick up a few bits just to get me out of the house for a little bit and then i will come back and hopefully do some uni work so yeah i'll catch up with you all Maybe at the farm. <laughs> Look how vile the weather is, but I've literally come in the farm shop. Got me a gingerbread latte, and I'm just gonna walk around and have a look at what there is. Honestly, this is just my favorite thing to do now we're in lockdown. I feel like it's the only thing we can do. Oh my God, look at that. Flavored coffees, all the teas. Okay. Hello. 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 What have you got? A Can I have a look? Show me. Turn that. Turn it around. Oh wow. Oh. Dropped it. Hi. So yeah, we're back from the farm shop now, and I had a. What did I have? A gingerbread latte. I'm literally obsessed with that at the minute. Like I'm. I'm so obsessed. But I feel like you know when you have something a bit too much and you're gonna hate it. I feel like that's gonna happen very soon. 
Anyway, yeah, back from there now. It is about, I think it's about half three or three o'clock. I'm not too sure. I have got a few more little jobs to do. Just like drop some things off and yeah, a few errands. Get those done. I should have done uni work today, but I'm, I just haven't. I've just had a day to myself. I've been doing that quite a lot lately. I really need to get stuck into this. But do you know when it scares you so much? You don't want to start. Like, that's how I feel. I'm so scared of my dissertation. I could just... Ooh. Yeah, let's not get onto that subject. Yeah, anyway, we went to Tesco. And I picked up some alcohol. Because I've decided I am going to go get drunk tonight. You know what? Why not? It's been a long, hard week. I just fancy a little bit of drink just to take my mind off things a little bit. But... I was just checking my YouTube and I know this is, you know, <laughs> nothing compared to a lot of people. But I literally just reached 100 subscribers today. So, yeah, that made me really, really happy. I'm so, so, like, thankful for everyone who has subscribed, obviously. It's literally, you can tell by my smile, it has made my day. Just, it's made me so, so happy. I know it's, like, little baby steps, but I don't care. I honestly love doing this. And when you get those little bonuses, it just makes... It just makes it all worthwhile, basically. Um, yeah, so really happy about reaching 100. So yeah, I'm so, so happy for reaching 100 subscribers. So to everyone who has subscribed, thank you so much. You've made my day. <laughs> uh, what have I got to do now? What have I got to do now? Oh yeah, I've got to drop a photo off and so on. So yeah, that's really boring. So I won't bring you guys along because it's just going to make this vlog very long and very boring. So yeah, we're going to crack on with that now. So yeah, catch you all in a little while. Probably when I'm drunk. I'll see you when I'm drunk. Yeah. Also, can we just um, appreciate this lip combo? Mm. Smashbox and the NYX lip glosses. Oh, they just go a dream together. I am obsessed. I'm also, I'm also, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling on again, but I am actually really happy with my lips. I don't think they look fake at all. Comment if you think they do, I would like to know, but I do think they look really, la like, really natural. I'm just, I, I'm just really pleased with them. I'm so happy, so, yeah. Um, if you're ever thinking about getting your lips done, defo check out where I went, um, snatched. I am gonna shut up now. We're gonna we're gonna go get some things sorted. Morning everyone, so it's actually Sunday today. When I last filmed, I filmed last night, I think, and I said I was getting drunk. I did get drunk and I forgot to put my camera up, so that's why we are now at Sunday morning. But yeah, I've just took myself to the middle of nowhere. And I decided to get myself out for a run. Somewhere a little bit different for a scenery. I just fancy the change. And yeah, I feel like it might be a better route to be honest with you um hopefully get a bit more flat ground but i doubt it because i'm in the woods so you know there's going to be some hills but that's okay because works you harder so yeah that's really like i don't know what i've got planned today honestly sundays are just well i feel like every day is a sunday at the minute but yeah i'm gonna head out for a run hopefully i can go quite far because last night we had paella with flatbread so um quite a carby meal so i'm hoping it gives me the energy to go further today because i did a run yesterday and oh my god i was just like i don't think i even ran that far i think i did like under three miles but we still got out we still went so that's the main thing so yeah i'm gonna go head out for a run now and probably catch up with you guys a bit later on i have done my run but do you know what i've just decided that i'm gonna stop it there i've only done like 2.5 miles but because the grass and like the tracks are so muddy i literally was like sliding everywhere and i thought you know what like i am going to <laughs> fall over in front of people here like look how muddy my shoes are like <laughs> but i thought you know what i'm going to just walk around the route that i've just done this is some music honestly it just feels like a bit of therapy if i'm being honest with you guys you know if you ever feel like down in the mornings just literally get out for like a half an hour walk and you'll feel so much better i can't get over how beautiful the view is like how i am lucky to have this on my doorstep but oh my god just get yourself out get yourself listening to a podcast or your favorite music and i promise you'll feel better so yeah that's what i'm going to do now so i will see you all guys later this is back to that um, clip I've just done and I'm so sorry about the wind. 
I literally look at the state of me, like honestly. I just don't care anymore, do I? But right, anyway, I'm now back from doing my run, my walk, whatever. Um I did try and do a little bit of uni work and now I've just um Well let's just say I'm watching YouTube now, so yeah. And I've got myself a coffee with obviously my gingerbread well, syrup in there. It the tastes so it nice. But yeah, I'll just show you how much work I did there. before I started yeah, to uh, what procrastinate. That. No, what That's all I've done. That. I'm terrible. Honestly. Now I have so much time on my hands to do my work. I just can't do it. I feel like when I was in a routine and I was working full time. I did it because I knew I, I had to, but now I'm just like, yeah, I've got all the time in the world. It's not good. I need to stop it. Oh, do you know what? I'll let you know if I do any more work. Not really much, but actually, yeah, there is. Oh my god. There's going to be a nice sunset tonight, guys. Look, I just noticed. Okay, pretty. You can see a glimpse of the pink. You know what? It's not really going to give it much justice. I'm just going to look like an idiot, aren't I? Oh my god, look at the sunset. I'm saying for the sunset. Anyway, <laughs> right, yeah, um, not much improvement on when I last filmed. One of my tasks, so we have to do like demand activities for our live tutorial. So I've done that, you know, because I like to be a teacher's pet. I do, I do just think that's the key to getting a good grade if I want to be though. So yeah, I've done that and then. What have I done? Oh yeah, I just watched YouTube again. And I did something really stupid. Why didn't I just use the same mug? So now I've got about three mugs in my room, so my mum's gonna fucking kill me. I don't know what to do when my mum's at work, like I'm just going insane. It's not like she's on like a small shift either. She's like literally gone for 12 hours. This makes me so sad because I don't know who to talk to. We're okay though. I, I do love my own company. I've been loving it the last few days. Previously in the vlog, I just, oh, I just felt like I had to be around people just because I was not in a good place. But now I'm loving my own company. So what I think I'm going to do now is, I should really do some uni work, but I feel like I want to edit some videos because that's literally my favorite thing. I'm, I love it. I love it so much. I just have, I felt like such a nerd. I love editing. No, I generally do love editing my vlogs and my videos. I'm just, I'm just a bit of a geek for it, to be honest. I, literally, I'm a geek for editing and I'm a geek for blames. That's really weird, isn't it? I can't, I've never done it yet, but I do feel like I just would like to go sit and play and watch. <laughs> why are people saying this? I don't know why I'm embarrassed, but apparently there is like this really nice um bar no not bar there's like a really nice pub near manchester airport well basically it is at manchester airport but you don't have to go through the airport to get to it and then like the beer gardens like basically on the runway i mean i know it would be so noisy imagine how noisy it would be like you're literally just trying to enjoy a gin and you got like i don't know a boeing 847 just coming over your head but I do feel like I need to do that. I'm gonna do that when it opens again. That's the first thing I'm doing after lockdown is going there. Go there and uh, see what it's like. I'll obviously vlog it probably. I don't, how am I getting off this topic so much? I just come on to update you what I was doing. Right, I am going to, yeah, I'm gonna go do some work. No, I'm gonna edit some videos. My short. We're gonna edit some videos, so. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, do you know what? I really can't be bothered for it to be Monday because it's just another another week of lockdown, another week of bloody tutorials. Actually, you know what I did do? I did my cover page for my dissertation <laughs> and it's like 16 words and I just think, okay, I've only got like 10,000 to write and then 16 words don't even count to the 10,000 so I've really done nothing. But it makes you feel better, do you not think that? Like when you've got assignments due, you just think if you do the, um, like if you create a folder for it and just do the title page and just save it, even though you've done nothing, it just makes me feel better, like I feel like I can relax. Yeah. Is anyone else like that? Or is that just me? Mm. 
Okay, we're short now. So, um, it's actually really quite late now, actually. All I'm going to do is get into bed and watch a bit of YouTube until I'm ready to go to sleep. I had hummus with some flatbreads for dinner, which was really nice. And then I've literally just demolished the whole type of chocolate orange. I, I just love it, honestly, I'm just obsessed. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly come on and wrap this video up and just say thank you so much for watching if you're still here then wow because <laughs> it is a long one um but yeah i'm sure i'll see you very soon for a brand new video bye